hello everyone welcome back to my channel math school learn to succeed in this channel i'll be teaching you karnataka board class 10th slc insert math in today's video i'll be introducing you to the new chapter that is arithmetic progressions that is chapter number one from your textbook also known as ap so before we begin the video please like share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos so let us begin with the section 1.2 that is arithmetic progressions from your chapter 1 section 1 1.1 is the introduction part from your textbook uh, where certain examples are mentioned you can please go through the section 1.1 so that you will have the better understanding so starting with the section 1.2 that is the arithmetic progression so in this chapter we shall discuss the patterns in which the succeeding terms are obtained by adding the fixed number to the preceding terms so what are the succeeding and the preceding terms consider the list of numbers given so here the number after is called as the succeeding term and the number before is called as the preceding term okay again similarly here if you see any number after is considered as the succeeding term and any number before is considered as the preceding term so this is the preceding term and this is the succeeding term which is obtained after okay by adding a fixed number to the preceding term you will obtain the succeeding term okay we shall also see how to find the nth term of the series and also the sum of the n, n consecutive terms and use this knowledge in solving some daily uh, life problems consider the following list of numbers given here we can observe okay each number in the list is called as the term so we can see the lists of numbers here and we can determine the pattern or the rule in which these numbers or series are written down so we will find out the pattern or rule in which these uh, series of numbers or list of numbers are written down if you come to the first list you can notice that each term is one more than the term preceding it so so each number so here if you consider the first number that is number one if you add one one plus one you get the succeeding term that is two again similarly if you add two plus one you get the next number that is three and again 3 plus 1 you get 4 so here we observe that each term is one more than the preceding term okay if you come to the next list again here we can observe that by subtracting 30 to each uh, preceding term you can obtain the succeeding term so this preceding term is 100 if you subtract 30 from it you get the preceding term that is 70 this 100 minus 30 is 70 similarly again if you subtract 30 from 70 you get the next uh, succeeding term that is 40 okay similarly 40 minus 30 the next succeeding term is 10 so 30 is the fixed number which is subtracted here and similarly if you move to the next series or list of number here if each term is obtained by adding 1 to the term preceding it so if you add mi minus 3 to minus 3 if you add plus 1 you get minus 2 again add plus 1 to minus 2 add plus 1 you get minus 1 again if you add plus 1 to minus 1 you get 0 so the fixed number which is added here is 1 similarly if you come here to the fourth uh, list of number here the 0 is either added or subtracted to obtain the same number is obtained so we are um, we are considering 0 is either added or subtracted to the number to obtain the succeeding number here okay similarly if you come to the fifth example we are adding minus 0.5 okay let us add minus 0 0.5 so here we will get minus 1.5 similarly if you add minus 0.5 to minus 1.5 you get minus 2.0 similarly again if you add to minus 2 minus 0 0.5 you get 2.5 so minus 0 0.5 
is added added to get the preceding terms here okay from all the above list of numbers we can observe that we see that the successive terms are obtained by adding a fixed number to the preceding terms so such list of numbers is said to form an arithmetic progression okay so let us define the arithmetic progression arithmetic progression is a list of numbers in which each term is obtained by adding a fixed number to the preceding term except the first term okay so here you can see the fixed number which is added here is plus 1 okay plus 1 is the fixed number here minus 30 is the fixed number similarly here plus 1 again here 0 is the fixed number which is added or subtracted and here again minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 and minus 0 0.5 this is the fixed number which is added okay the fixed number can be e is called as the common difference of the ap it can be either positive negative or zero as we saw in these examples now let us denote the first term in our ap as a1 the second term as a2 and the nth term as a n and the common difference will be d arithmetic progression can be represented as a1 as the first term a2 as second term a3 is the third term and a n as the nth term in it will be represented as a series of terms now we can observe that the common difference d is same between all these terms that is a2 minus a1 is equal to a3 minus a2 and that will be again equal to the nth minus 1 term so the common difference will be equal in an ap sequence which is represented by d so the general form of ap is given by a as the first term then the second term will be a plus d the third term will be a plus 2d and a plus 3d and it goes on where a is a first term and d is the common difference by just knowing a first term and common difference we can calculate uh, our uh, arithmetic progression series by just knowing the first term a and d the common difference we can determine any term either the first term or the second term or the third term this is the first term second term and this is the third term this is the fourth term by just knowing the a and d value we can calculate any uh, term in an ap we, there are two kinds of arithmetic progressions that is finite arithmetic progression and infinite arithmetic progression in an finite arithmetic progression it will have finite number of terms in the series or list of numbers given the last number will be mentioned in the finite arithmetic progression whereas in an infinite arithmetic progression there are infinite number of terms in a series or the list of numbers and does not have the last term see the example for finite arithmetic progression the total savings after every month for 10 months when rupees 50 are saved each month are so when 50 rupees are saved every month then the total savings will be for 10 months how many will be the savings so it will be 50 then in the next month it will 50 plus 50 it will be 100 again plus 50 it will be 150 likewise 200 adding just 50 rupees every month the amount will be increasing till the 10th month and the total saving uh, at the 10th month it will be 500 so here they have specified the duration for 10 months so therefore it is a finite arithmetic progression whereas in the infinite arithmetic progression you can see that the last term is not specified or it is not given therefore this these kinds of arithmetic progression are called as the infinite arithmetic progression for examples for finite arithmetic progressions are given mentioned in the um, page number four in the first chapter of your textbook that is arithmetic progressions now to find out an arithmetic progression what are the minimum things that you require uh, you require a the first term you require d that is the common difference or you require both actually you require both so now for the first term a is 6 and the common difference d is 3 then find let us determine the ap here now here it is given a as equal to 6 and d is equal to 3 so let us determine the ap here so the first term will be a as it is the so general form of ap is given as a comma a plus d comma a plus 2d the second term and a plus 
3D. So the first term is A as it is that is 6. Then the second term A plus D that is 6 plus 3 is 9. Then A is 6 plus 2D is 3 and A plus 3D is again 3. So the sequence will be 6 comma 9 comma 3 2 is 6 plus 6 will be 12 comma 3 3 is 9 plus 6 9 plus 6 will be 15 ok. So this is the AP sequence. So if now here A and D is given we can find out the AP. Now the vice versa condition if we consider if they have given us the AP sequence can we determine the A and D value? Yes let us find out. So here if the sequence is given to find out the, the first term A is equal to 6 we already know but here we have to determine the D value to write down the sequence. The general form of AP is what? The general form of AP is A comma a plus d comma a plus 2d so the first term we already know that is 6 now let us determine the common difference subtract the second term with the first term so that is a2 minus a1 will give you d what is a2 minus a1 that is 9 minus 6 it is 3 what is a3 minus a2 that is 12 minus 9 again it is 3 we are just determining whether the uh, the common difference is same for all the terms. So let us determine a4 minus a3 that is 15 minus 12 again it is 3 since the common difference is same here that is 3 the sequence is said to be AP. So A value is 6 and the common difference D is 3 and this series is said to be AP. Similarly, let us check uh, list of numbers whether this uh, list of numbers is AP or not. So the first term A is here is 1. Now we have to determine the common difference D. Okay, The common difference has to be equal between all the terms. So let us check A2 minus A1. What is A2 minus A1? 1 minus 1 it is 0. Then a3 minus a2 that is a3 is 2 and a2 is 1 2 minus 1 it is 1 so the common difference is not matching here so let us check for the uh, a4 minus a3 a4 is 3 and a a3 is 2 so 3 minus 2 is 1 we have one more term that is a5 minus a4 that is 5 minus 3 that is 2 here we can notice that the common difference is not equal therefore we can say that the sequence or the list of uh, the numbers given above is not an AP. So let us solve the example 1 from the chapter arithmetic progressions that is chapter number 1. So the example number 1 says for the AP write the first term A and the common difference D. Here they are already see, saying us that the sequence or the list of numbers given here is an AP. So we have to write the first term A and determine the common difference D. The first term A will be 3 by 2 as given here the common difference D can be find out in an AP by subtracting any two consecutive numbers. So let us uh, find D by A2 minus A1. Here A2 value is 1 by 2 minus 3 by 2. So this will be minus 2 by 2 or minus 1. So the A value is 3 by 2 and D value is minus 1. Now moving ahead to our second example that is example number 2 which says which of the following list of numbers form an AP. If they form an AP write down the next two terms. So let us consider the first problem here that is 4 comma 10 comma 16 comma 22. To determine whether the list of numbers is an AP or not, we have to determine the common difference between each terms. If the common difference is same, then the list of number is said to be an AP. So let us determine 
a2 minus a1 first that is 10 minus 4 is 6 then a3 minus a2 is 16 minus is again 6 a4 minus a3 that is 22 minus 16 is again 6 since the common difference since the common difference is equal for all the terms here we can say that this is an AP and the next two terms can be obtained by adding the last term that is 22 with 6 you get 28 and the term next after that is 28 plus 6 is again 34 the AP obtained after adding another two terms will be 4 comma 10 comma 16 comma 22 comma 28 and 34 now coming to the next question that is 1 comma minus 1 comma minus 3 comma minus 5 and so on so let us determine the common difference between each terms that is a2 minus a1 will be minus 1 minus 1 that will be minus 2 and a3 minus a2 will be minus 3 minus of minus 1 will be minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 then a4 minus a3 will be minus 5 minus of minus 3 so that will be minus 5 plus 3 that is again minus 2 again here we can notice that the common difference d is minus 2 which is same between all the terms therefore we can obtain the next two terms also so just add minus 5 and minus 2 you will get minus 7 then again add minus 7 with minus 2 you will get minus 9 terms after adding the new terms will be so our new set of ap will be 1 minus 1 minus 3 minus 5 minus 7 and minus 9 minus 2 2 minus 2 2 and minus 2 so let us determine the common difference by subtracting a2 minus a1 that is 2 minus of minus 2 will be 4 then a3 minus a2 is what is a3 is minus 2 minus 2 again that will be minus 4 then a4 minus a3 will be 2 minus of minus 2 0 here we can notice that the common difference is not equal therefore the sequence is not an AP and we, hence we cannot obtain the other two terms now moving to the fourth question the fourth question is 1 comma 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 comma 3 okay so let us determine a2 minus a1 first to determine the d that is 1 minus 1 is 0 again a3 minus a2 will be 1 minus 1 0 a4 minus a3 will be 2 minus 1 it is 1 a5 minus a4 will be 2 minus 2 0 here we can notice that the common difference d is not equal is not equal therefore this sequence here is not an ap and hence we cannot determine the uh, the next two terms in the sequence okay so with this let us end this video in my next video i'll be solving the exercise 1.1 from chapter 1 that's arithmetic progressions so till then please like share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos thank you